reason why I write these books is to be independent and free. The organisations and agencies put in the locks and try and um, treat it like everybody else that's disabled. I want to live, I want to yeah, enjoy my last few years on this planet. Chapter 5. Sunset over Santorini. Excitement bubbled like a pot on the stove as Chris and the children gathered around the enchanted wheelchair once again. Their hearts danced with anticipation, eager to discover another wonderful place. Ellie, with excitement, asked, Hey, Uncle Chris, where are we going next? I guess we are going to meet dinosaurs, Fletcher expressed his thoughts. No, we are not going to meet dinosaurs. We are going somewhere exciting, and it will be a surprise for all of you. One thing is clear, it will be exciting. Uncle Chris changed the atmosphere of confusion to excitement. With a deep breath, Chris pressed the destination button and suddenly the world transformed into a kaleidoscope of colors and sensations. When they opened their eyes, they were standing in an alley of washed walls, blue domed churches, and the gentle whispers of the Aegean Sea caressing the shore. They had arrived in Santorini, Greece, a painting brought to life. Wow, it's so beautiful, Ella exclaimed, her eyes filled with wonder. I love this surprise, Uncle Chris. The village was like a labyrinth, twisting and turning like a white snake. Narrow paths emerged between buildings, punctuated by splashes of blue. Chris and the kids strolled through the streets, staring wide-eyed at the architecture, planning, and neatness of the whole place. The air was filled with mouth-watering aromas of spices mingling with the sea breeze. All around them, the Greek language seemed music to their ears. They walked into an eatery around midday to try the local cuisine. Their taste buds exploded with the flavors of tzatziki, crispy spanakopita, and baklava soaked in honey that brought them a sense of contentment. Chris felt like each dish told him a story, a tale of this land's secrets. What do you think, kids? Are you enjoying this trip? I love the food. Uncle Chris broke the silence hovering over them for a long time. Freddie, while eating spanakopita, the food is really good. I also love the cleanliness of this town. It feels like its painting came to life. Ellie and Fletcher agreed with Freddie. They were also enjoying Greek food. After lunch, they were lured to the middle of the market by music and laughter. There, they saw a group of locals dancing amid whistles and cheers. As they watched, Fletcher joined the dancers. Then the other two children and Chris joined the circle of steps, clapping hands and laughing too. They danced freely while their laughter played with the stomping of feet. As twilight grew darker, they settled at a cafe, their cheeks red from dancing. It was there that they encountered Nicholas, a man whose eyes possessed both the depth of an ocean and wisdom from years. You are strange. I have met many people in my life, but you are stranger than all. Where do you come from? Nicholas inquired. Chris trying to handle the situation. We are from far away land. We have come to learn about your culture, your stories, and your legends. Nicholas understood the demands of his guests. Underneath a star-speckled sky, Nicholas wove them a legend about Atlantis, a tale passed down through generations. He talked about a land that had lost favor with the gods and sank beneath the sea, leaving whispers and fascination behind. The children were captivated by the story their imaginations ignited with visions of palaces and advanced civilizations now claimed by the depths. It's the place where Aquaman lives, Ellie said out in excitement. She quickly realized her mistake. Nicholas, a man of wisdom, didn't take much notice. Nicholas, with his voice humming, mentioned, the captivating mysteries are those that exist between reality and myth, between the waves and the stars. Each sunset, my dear children, is a chapter, a tale that sinks below the horizon to give birth to a new dawn. His simple yet powerful words settled in their hearts. They learned that beauty wasn't solely found in insights or thrilling adventures. It was present in moments shared through stories and in the promise of a new beginning with each daybreak. As they bid farewell to their host and return to their magical mode of transportation, they noticed the first stars twinkling in the night sky. 
they held on to memories of Greece's sun, salty air from the sea, and echoes of Atlantis legend as they pressed home, their spirits glowing bright from another unforgettable journey. In an instant, they found themselves again in Chris's living room. They were tired but giddy with the memories of the day. Santorini had surpassed being a place to visit. It served as a reminder that beauty lies in simplicity, that stories connect hearts, and that each sunset brings the hope of a fresh start. Hi, please like and subscribe and help me get my life back. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. And to all the people that like to subscribe, thank you very much. It's motivated all the help that you are giving me.